good day and welcome to a new module. In this module we're going to look at something we haven't touched on yet, the editing cap capabilities of Photoshop Elements Organizer. So I've got a photo here that is uh, pretty cute but pretty dark. So let's click Instant Fix. Instant Fix loads up this Instant Fix view where you can crop your photo and it has suggested crops for you, fix red eyes, add effects that are kind of like Instagram filters, apply a smart fix, which is, as you can see, super easy, adjust the lighting, or the color, or even the clarity of a photo. Now the instant or smart fix has really fixed up this photo so quickly. I don't think we need to do anything with the light or color, but it's simply just, you know, dragging a slider until you like how things look. Now, when you're happy, you can click done and it'll ask you if you want to save your changes. If you click yes, it automatically saves the edits as a new copy of your photo. You'll notice that there's a little version set icon that's now appeared. Of course, you can always do undo and your photo's back to normal. So let's go to Instant Fix again and let's click Smart Fix and then click Save. You've also got some other options. You can horizontally flip your file, which is great for those mirrored of photos that you might have. You can revert to the original file by clicking Reset. And you can even have the before and after view to toggle to see which you prefer. And of course, if you want to do anything advanced, you just click on advance and then you can open in, in the Photoshop Elements Editor. If you'd like to learn more about editing photos in Photoshop Elements Editor, you'll want to run over to DigiScrap HQ and check out the classes there. There is Photo Editing for Absolute Beginners class, which takes you strangely enough, from the beginning and shows you everything you need to know to get started editing your photos. Now, that was just a single edit with one photo in the Instant Fix. What if you have several photos that all need some help? I'm gonna click to select all of these quite underexposed photos and click on Instant Fix. It warns me that only photos can be edited. I must have a video in there. You can see that it shows up all of them at once. And let's have a go at Smart Fix. And it's showing me a preview here to see how I like it. And honestly, it looks really good before, after. It looks so much better. Now, just to show you that you can do more than just click on Smart Fix, let's just adjust the light in these photos manually. And we can even adjust the color. You can make it more blue, or in our saturated, or desaturated. In our case, we'll just take the saturation up a smidgen and the clarity up a little bit. Now, you can just click to show one photo and that will actually give you probably a little bit more of an accurate representation of how the pictures will look. And you can go back to see all photos, flick through, yep, that looks pretty good. And then you just click done. I'm going to save my changes. Now again, it's just writing them directly to the JPEG file. So that means if you come now you can see up the top it's got a little edited icon so we can see that it's been edited and we can flick through these photos and it's really turned out quite well. Considering how dark they were, they really come out beautifully. And of course, there you go, the beautiful view of the Swan River from the Brookfield Place. These photos were pretty much unusable before and although they're grainy now I'm much more likely to actually use them 
because you can see the people in the photos. As nice as the Perth skyline is, I wasn't taking the photos for the skyline. So that's how you can edit your photos in Photoshop Elements Organizer. You can use Instant Fix to fix one photo at a time or a group of photos that all need some common edits. Your assignment for this module is to have a look at some photos that are way too dark or way too light and need some help. Edit them with the Instant Fix and see how good they look with just one click.